Hi, my name is Josie. Oh no, if you missed the last video, something really big and emotional happened. Let me catch you up. After 13 months of traveling through Southeast Asia, taking in some incredible sights, smells, sounds, tastes, and cultures, we've returned to Australia in a bit of a rush. We found ourselves facing some difficult family news and had to cut our travels short. So that's why we're coming home. But we're grateful to be back home surrounded by loved ones. We spent the last week reconnecting with our families. Oh, hello! Hello. 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 Hello and sharing our experiences with you every step of the way. <laughs> so sit back, relax, and join us as we rediscover Australia and navigate what it's like to be back home for now. Let's get started. So it takes about two hours to get down to mom's house. Yeah, we don't have long, so I know she's busy tonight. So it's gonna be a really short, what? It's hot. <laughs> when you're in Australia and you have leather seats in the sun, yeah, you get burnt. <laughs> We've been back for a few days. We got in on Tuesday night and now it's Thursday afternoon. So we were going to get a rental car, drive from the airport to my mom's house and see her and then drive to Michael's parents' house. The rental car was $1,600. So I haven't seen my mom yet. So I'm gonna surprise her and see her for the first time in over 13 months. Michael's parents' house to my mom's house is about a two hour drive. In Australia, it is super common to just drive two hours to get anywhere basically. So we're at my mom's now and I'm gonna surprise her. It's gonna be funny that she doesn't know I'm here. drive yeah just say hello so my mom's having a, the rest of her shower now we caught her off guard but look you come into an aussie household and what's the first thing i see <laughs> come here. Oh, still getting there. <laughs> hi mom hello Good, how are you? Ah. I spent the next week at my mum's house spending much needed time with her. We went down to the shops together and I had all of the Australian food I was missing. If you're in Australia and you feel like Chinese or something, well, I always get honey chicken. It's my favorite Chinese dish if you're having Chinese takeaway in Australia. After a week, Michael came down to pick me up again and brought Cappy for a sleepover before heading all the way back up to Newcastle. Come on, get out of bed. Kind of get up. <laughs> Come on, out of bed. One, two, three. Good boy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, buddy. So we are just getting ready to leave mom's place now. We're going to Newcastle, so bye, mom. Bye, bye Josie. <laughs> Up. Good one. Up. That's his father. <laughs> Alright, see you soon. See you in like a week. Yeah. Alright, nice Tomorrow. to see you. Not me with my So we're about to take the spe specific... The specific <laughs> highway. I mean, it is a specific highway. We're about to take the Pacific <laughs> Highway from Sydney to Newcastle. This is actually a 7-Eleven, so I know that you've seen me at a few 7-Elevens around the world, but ours is a little bit different and not as fun or exciting. Just for reference as well, if I was to get a, I don't know, let's say a Coke, Australia's expensive and normally on like a hot day you'll come and get like a slushy in Australia and they have like a sugar-free option sometimes but this is a lemon lime bitters I don't really feel like that I think it's number 10 is it ready are you still going yes 10 it's good yeah. so it's thank you so much thank you. that was 
$119. I'm trying to put it into perspective for you guys, um, but I'll put some prices on the screen. Michael's gonna wait in the car with uh, the dog. You can't leave, obviously, a dog in the car on a hot day like this. So I'm gonna go in and get us some sausage rolls and meat pies, which is such an Aussie tradition. So I'm excited to show you sort of what we eat here in Australia. And I didn't see this anywhere when we went overseas in Southeast Asia, so I'm excited to have one again. Um, could I, do you have a, uh, like a bacon and cheese or something? I do. I'm just waiting for them to come out the oven. I'll just check. I will on. wait for them. <laughs> Please, my babies. All right, so here is an Aussie sausage roll with tomato sauce for Michael and a Aussie meat pie for me with barbecue sauce. There comes a time in your YouTube career when you just know you're gonna get roasted, all right? This is my time. If you're from Australia, <laughs> I'm a little bit embarrassed, but I eat pies a kind of different way than most Aussies would eat pies. I put a little bit of the sauce on the top, eat the top bit off. Oh, it looks so good. And then I eat the top. <laughs> and then what I do is put some of the sauce on the inside. So then I eat the filling, then I use the rest of the sauce, and then I eat the pastry. Delicious. And if you ever wanted to know, Australia doesn't have the death penalty for anything except for that abomination. <laughs> I've got a sausage roll, which is colloquially termed in Australia as a rat coffin. So what? Yeah, they call them rat coffins. Cause it's like a rat inside a coffin. That's a rat? Well, it's meat. Meat, rat meat? Well, it's, no, it's uh, probably horse meat or something. I've very, never heard it called a rat, rat coffin. coffin. Yeah, baby. Yeah, let's go. So the reason they obviously call this the pie in the sky is because of this amazing view. And the mountains here are literally stunning, so. We are on this long highway and there is a boat ramp or like a little picnic stop or something down there and it's such an Aussie thing to do to get your boat out or your jet ski out and like go out on the water and like just make it like a family day sort of thing so a lot of Aussies do that every weekend which it is right now um, and just take their boat out fish all that kind of stuff we're on this highway now and it's all the way up to Newcastle and what they've done to make this road which I found pretty interesting is that they basically just cut through this rock so you can see and sometimes you drive through the inside of what used to be a big rock kind of like this see like the rock face here and on this side it's just literally been cut We've just gone pretty far away up the highway at the moment. Um, but there's one thing that you can do, and one thing I absolutely love, well, there's a lot of things I love about Australia, but one is that you can get drive-through coffee at Macca's, McDonald's, basically anywhere. And it looks like a normal Macca's, and we've had Macca's all around Southeast Asia, but Australia's the only one that does coffee at a drive-through and to this quality as well. So what was that? Just a hot latte with no sugar. What size? Medium, please. Full cream milk? Yes, please. Is that everything? Um, can we get a just an ice cream cone as well? Is that everything? That's all, thanks. Yeah, try to. Cheers. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Cheers. Cheers, thanks Thank so much. Thank you. She doesn't get these all the time, by the way, everybody. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh, well, okay. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. So we, what we'll do is, we'll go, we'll go back. So we are here at Michael's parents' house, um, but when we left, we basically put all of our stuff in storage or um, in the house, and Michael's brother's been living in Michael's house while we're gone, so we can't stay there, we're at his parents', so we don't have a bed, so we're just on kind of a mattress on the floor at the moment. <laughs> but um, Cappy actually has something um, wrong that we've noticed, so we're going to take him to the vet now. I'll quickly show you what it is. Hi! Hi! 
if you're like squirmish or don't like seeing it's not bleeding or anything and it's not like a gaping hole or anything it's just a little lump but look off for the next 10 seconds five seconds hey thing there I don't know if you can see that but it's a big big red lump Mm, you're okay and um, we just came back and noticed it and um, Michael's brother who's been looking after him just let us know that it's not um, like going away or anything he's had antibiotics so we're gonna take him to the vet today and see what to do look at his tail going around in circles <laughs> okay let's go see what you're doing might have to drop you and find a park okay come on come on cat yes good boy hello Good. Sorry, this is happy. We're a little bit late. And back off in those aggressive skin ones, if that's what it is, if we can get it out with margins, which is in a good place for that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not what we like. No. Gentle. Gentle. A little bit better, yeah. We'll see you in the morning. We'll see you then. Thank you so much. Say goodbye. See you, Maggie. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Okay, so basically she didn't really like that it was growing that fast. Um, there was a cancellation for surgery tomorrow morning, so we're dropping him back tomorrow morning and picking him up tomorrow afternoon early arvo and he's going to get his lump removed and just the area they surrounding think it's cancerous they do think well she didn't say that she's just a little bit Basically worried about it so it could be skin cancer we'll see tomorrow it takes about a week to get the results so <sighs> one after another thing with us right now isn't it that word this with this week no, thanks so you. much you're a sniff So we just dropped Cap off. So yeah, he's in He's in there now. He's gonna have his surgery today to get his lump removed. And then they're also going to send it off and see what kind of lump it is. Um, and we have to- under anesthesia and stuff as well. Yeah, so we have to come pick him up when they call us later on today. So since we just dropped Cappy off, um, I don't know, I think we both feel a little bit lost and we have really nothing to do until we pick him up. Um, and we're both just feeling a little bit, I think overwhelmed about everything. Um, you know the reason why we're back here and then also dropping Cappy off for a surgery it's it's a lot but I think we're both a little bit worried and like maybe a little bit stressed about Cappy like you know we've come home obviously we we're meant to come home at this time I know it's really windy here but it's an obvious sign that now is when we we're meant to come back with everything that's going on with like our family and then Cappy happened as well and um I think we better go get some food for dinner. What do you reckon? So we're actually on the way home right now, but we came over the crest at Bar Beach and I saw these paragliding or like parasailers. And there's like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, there's heaps of them. And I can see them like surfing with the wind and on the waves and everything. I just wanted to show you. It looks so stunning. It's really windy right now, but look at them. Someone here, all over here. So we have quite a fair bit of produce here in like Coles or Woolies in Australia. Lots of things are pre-packaged, like there's just like pre-packaged um, apples, pears, all just put in bags for you and wrapped in plastic. So I guess that's not really great for the environment, good on Australia, but you can get them without. There's red pears, apples. Oh, I see one fruit. Let me know if you know what this is. I think this might be only like an Australian thing or like a New Zealand, Australia thing. So tell me, look, I'll show you. So it is hairy kind of small it's a little bit soft and it's got heaps of little hairs on it i don't know if you can see that what is this fruit called leave me in the comments below i could do sausage i'll have a sausage on a bun and stuff yeah yeah, yeah. so i got some good ones What'd you i get? got regular ones for dad because dad's plain so then what we normally would do is grab like some bread and just pretty much put the snag in the bread snag is sausage so we're just going to find some bread now to put it in they're only crusty ones though no i don't like the crusty ones you're in luck they're the regular. Yeah, soft ones, soft ones. Soft and then crusty for me and dad. Look at these, these look familiar. I've seen these in like Malaysia, everywhere. Ooh. $37. Which is about four times the amount. <laughs> so for a little bit of bread, a little bit of meat and like two, two snacks, 
and some onions. It was $37, so I'm gonna leave the conversion on the screen um, to might be relevant to your country, but yep. It's expensive here in Australia. <laughs> okay, so we just got the call um, that Cappy's ready after surgery to pick up. So he's we're gonna go, right. he's, he's doing okay. He came through surgery okay. He's like alive, but <laughs> he's, they had to cut quite deep into his belly. So. Yeah, because she wanted to get all the surrounding um, around the lump, uh, just in case it had spread a little bit. So let's go get Cappy. Oh, calm down, calm down. Oh wow, he's like, oh, oh. Well, he managed to um, smash the kind that we had on him, so we're just getting up a new one. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Um, Hi. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. I think we'll end up with a foam one in about two seconds. Probably on the way yeah. home. <laughs> this is a very typical Australian afternoon. You normally hang out by the barbecue. I don't know, it's not really sunset yet, but it's about to be. It's quite late actually, it's seven o'clock at night. So it's usually during daylight savings, still pretty light. And then you come out normally with a beer and cook your dinner on the barbecue outside. Very Australian. So good way to end the day usually. Eat it out. I was going to eat it out. Sorry? We just get the onion out of there. Yeah, yum. A little bit more because I love onion. Half there. Half there. Alright, and then I'm a barbecue sauce. This is the great Australian debate. Barbecue or tomato sauce? Team barbecue. Tomato. You have this delicious, this is a Australian delicacy this one. Sausage sandwich. It's been too long without one of these. Just as I remembered it. He's used so he's happy. Uh, he's staying used so he's like happy. But he's so out of it. Struggling. He's so out of it. He's super high. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> he is gone. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> His eyes look so vacant. How are you feeling? I'm exhausted. Yeah. He doesn't he doesn't rest or stop unless you're constantly touching him or patting him, so but he's coming off. He's a lot calmer without it, but we just have to make sure he doesn't lick it at all times, so you're like constantly watching him. Have to feed him water. You want any? No, you did just have no, some. So we got another cone for him. It's working a lot better. He finds it a little bit more comfortable. He can kind of use it as a pillow. And yeah, hold on, I'll show you because it's kind of really cute. You wanna show Cap? Oh, show everyone your cone. Show everyone your cone. Yeah. And I think we just have to probably stay with him the next couple of days. Make sure he doesn't go in the grass. Make sure he doesn't jump anywhere. Make sure he doesn't do anything. Um, because he just had his surgery. So lumps all removed and we just have to wait for the results now. How do you feel about it? I'm very upset that he's in so much pain. Yeah. But I'm glad that it went all right. And now we have to just wait a week and see if it's spread to any other organs or if it's just a skin cancer. That's we're gonna hope that it's just that cancer and it's gone. And obviously you guys know why we came back to Australia. So it's a little bit tough on both of us, um, I think. Uh, to have all of this happen at once. But I just wanted to say thank you to all of you guys for your support and your patience with my uploads. Um, I know they've been a little bit less common or less often than usual for me. And I just want to also thank all of my channel members. Um, I also haven't been posting as much stuff for them, obviously because of what's happened and trying to spend as much time with my family as possible. So thank you all of my channel members for being so patient and lovely and supportive of everything that's been going on lately. But I'm going to see you in the next one. Like I said, we're going to show you more of Newcastle, more of Sydney in the next couple of videos coming up. So make sure you do like and subscribe. And anything else to say? Thank you for all the lovely things you said about my mum in the last video, guys. I really appreciate it. And she really appreciated it as well. If you don't know, on the screen right now is a video explaining why we had to come home. Go watch that one and you're all caught up, up to date, ready for the next videos. See you in the next one.